Hello YouTubers. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I have my doctor's appointment today and I'm still dilated just one centimeter and um, just my cervix has thinned out a little bit. My cervix is still high uh, but that doesn't stop me from you know, going into labor this weekend or next week. She said my water still can break this weekend and or I can still go into labor next week or whatever. And um, she also said people who are more prone, women who are more prone to uh, more prone to water breaking again when it happened with their other children. Like with her, her three girls, her water always broke first and then she had a contractions. And I told her that's how it was with me with my daughter. My water broke first then you know you know the con real contractions um, but I've been having the fake contraction the Braxton Hicks contractions ever since I went to the hospital yesterday and I had to go into the hospital yesterday because um, in the end the, she wanted me to go in because I called the doctor's office and told them about my uh, watery substance coming from me and, and they thought it could probably be amniotic fluid so they wanted me to go into the hospital to get that checked but it turned out it wasn't amniotic fluid thing in it. So, um, and that's when the contraction started. It was when I was hooked up to the machine. And ever since then, I've been having them continuously on and on and on, the Braxton Hicks contractions, which is crazy. Um, so, yeah. So, the other thing is, I'm trying to get my thoughts together. I keep saying, um. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so. Yeah, so it was a good doctor's appointment, and her thing is, like I said, of being induced at 39 weeks, she will induce me um, 39 weeks, and that will fall on Monday, May 1st, is when I will be induced if I do not become go into labor before then. She said I could still, my water could still break this weekend, I could still, it could break next week, it could still happen, so it definitely can still happen. But anyway, so that's what's been going on. Uh, that's what I found out at the doctor's appointment today. Uh, so that's just like May 1st. It's just like nine days away. <laughs> so, but who knows? I'm nervous. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if my water going to break. I don't know, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to come sooner. Or I don't know if I'm going to go to 39 weeks. But either way. The limit it, it go don't go past 39. So May 1st, everyone. If I do not come sooner, May 1st. I can't believe it. Like so unreal. <laughs> I have my bag pack now and the baby bag pack, and I'll do a video on that too next time. Um, let's see. So yeah. So that is it. Like I said, Braxton Hicks contractions all the time now and. It's just getting closer to that day, 37 and a half weeks. I'll show you guys my belly, even though I have it in the other video. But in this video, with my belly being shown. Okay. So, that's my belly. My stomach. My big bump. Here's the side. Where's your pointy? There it is. There it is. So. So, yep. So that is all. Uh, um, that was just a quick update. And if I don't go into labor, you guys will see another video of me pregnant. So, <laughs> and if I go to May 1st, yeah, then you guys will see me still in my pregnant body. <laughs> all right, I'm so excited. Can't wait to meet her. Everyone here is excited, and it's just all very, very exciting. All right, toodles, everyone. Bye.